Hi, this is Spud Webb, NBA Slam Dunk Champ, and you're watching FanaticView.com. FanaticsView.com, Raymond here, man. I'm with the man Spud Webb. Man, honestly, I told my boys I was seeing Spud Webb today. They didn't believe me, man. They did not believe me. The man is here, Spud Webb. How you doing, brother? Oh, doing great, man, and thanks for having me. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Joe does so much for charity and with the Children's Aid Foundation and everything. Uh, tell us a little bit about your relationship with Joe and what brings you here to Toronto. Well, first of all, he's a Southern boy. I'm from Texas, deep from Oklahoma. Okay. And I always kept up with his career because we played parallel of uh, – and I'm a baseball fan in the whole work. So yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of guys uh, play in a lot of different charity tournaments. And most of the guys you see have big hearts and want to give back. Yes. So whenever you see a guy like that at tournaments and put one on, it's easy for you to get on the plane uh, when he asks you to come. So that's why I'm here and it's for a great cause. Amazing. Uh, uh, I mean, it's so cool to see that, man. I'm, I'm a huge basketball fan. Uh, and I mean, I'm watching ball and everything now. Atlanta Hawks, how do you feel about the state of Atlanta right now? I mean, how do you feel the team? I, I mean, where are they going right now? Do you feel like they're in, you know, they're in a good place right now? I mean, it's not the same since you and Dominique. Well, they're winning, and uh, you know, if, if, if you're gonna start somewhere, you gotta yeah. win first. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta draw people to come there to want to win. And uh, For sure. you know, For so sure. if I do White Howard going back home and play. You know, hopefully we can keep Millsap back there. And you can build from there. You know, hopefully, you know, they want to uh, get players in there where they can get a city uh, championship because we ain't having won since the Braves, man, and I have to hear it all the time. So no. hopefully one day uh, in Atlanta we get a championship for the ATL. Okay, so I mean, uh, uh, you speaking of Dwight Howard, former slam dunk champion, yourself, slam dunk champion. Uh, I mean, Spud, uh, you did what, like, literally – nobody no human being should be able to do i saw a clip of you actually a few years back i don't know if i was seeing it but i saw you still dunking yeah, I, I, I mean it, it, it's, it's crazy man uh take us back to that man slam dunk champion um and everything uh i mean spud how has the game changed i mean from from when you won the slam dunk uh some of your favorite dunkers in the game uh who do you who do you like i mean who are your best favorite dunkers of all time well, you know, when I when I uh, came in, uh, we were there to make the team and play basketball. You didn't have time to sit around and work on dunks, yeah. <laughs> things like that. So uh, guys like Doc Rivers and uh, Tree Rollins and Dominique Wilkins and Cliff Livingston and Willis, they yep. pulled me aside trying to teach me so I can help them, me and them, uh, get better. So, But the game has changed a little bit. You know, it's more wide open yep. uh, for point guards yes. to score and things like that. So... Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of talented guys out there, uh, so uh, they try to open the game up for them. If you, if you were to um, have a, a, a slam dunk, fantasy slam dunk uh, competition, five guys, I'm saying Spud Webb, Vince Carter, Michael Jordan, Dominique, and Dr. J. Yeah. And David Thompson. David Thompson. So, that's, uh, that's a hammer. Levine, Levine and Middleton. Oh, Zach Levine, too. Tough to keep him out of there. but I know uh, he's, a yeah. young, he's a young boy. He's a but young buck, but he, he does some stuff. He gets uh, up there. Uh, I'm kind of old school with Levine because yeah. he does dunks. A lot of his dunks are not props. And he does them off his jumping ability. So uh, that's why I like him. That's why you like him. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, uh, it, it's, it's just surreal, man, uh, to, to be here with you today. Um, how do you feel about the way super teams, I mean, this whole talk about super teams oh, created man. in the NBA, Spud, tell us a little bit. I know, I know, I know you are, brother. Uh, I mean, how do you feel I don't, about I don't, that? You know, I don't like the uh, joining up stuff. I'm old school. Uh, but if, if teams are going to beat them, they're going to have to do that to beat them. It's like you're not uh, signing one-and-done players. You have to sign one-and-done players to compete. So guys going to have to join up together to beat Cleveland, to beat Houston, to beat Golden right. State and Clippers. Right. And San Antonio, they're going to have to join up together to keep up. And it's, it's not what I like. Yeah. Because uh, if a team beat me or I'm going against a team, you know, that we had a robbery for years, I don't want to. I don't want to go. You're I want to do beat it, that right? You want to beat them, right? I want to beat that team. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it, 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 it's amazing to hear. I mean, the way that the game has changed. It's, 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 the generation has changed. Uh, I mean, 
uh, the young people today, I mean, it, it's just the way that it is. I mean, guys, it's not like how it used to be with Dominique and, and you guys back in the day where, you know, you guys would just go out there and go against your guys. You guys did not want to lose against this guy. You're not going to go and join and, and be buddy-buddy with some of these guys. No, you're not. You know, and, and us guys back then, that's the way we were brought up, and uh, that's the way the league was. But now they have the super teams and people joining up, and that's what that's what the fans like. But if you sit uh, in a locker room with a guy and you battle with a guy, and you you know you, if you lost to him or beat him, you don't want you don't want to go join. You want to keep beating him, or you want to eventually beat him. Exactly. I mean, Spud, it's such a pleasure to have you here in Toronto. Um, I hope you enjoy your week and your weekend here um, with us. Hope to have you back uh, again. Uh, hope you're still watching the game. I mean, I know you're an Atlanta guy. Uh, so, I mean, your favorite player in the game right now? Well, the, uh, LeBron, because he's uh, played team basketball. Uh, you know, I, if I'm at home, I cut on the TV. If, I, if I'm watching, you know, uh, Cleveland, I like Kyrie. Uh, Kyrie. He's, 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 he's some, he does things you can't teach, you know, <laughs> things like that. But uh, since I work for the Dallas Mavericks uh, development team, yes, uh, the Texas Legends, so I keep up with a lot of the basketball. Amazing, amazing. Spud Webb, fanaticsview.com. Thank you so much.